So um, we now live in a society which says that broke men don't deserve any sex. Because that is what like the modern society says that a broke man shouldn't even be entitled to pleasure. And we all know these days the majority of the girls hate broke men. That's the truth. Majority of the girls don't want to have anything to do with a broke man. Once you are a broke man, a lot of these girls will consider you unworthy of them. So which basically means the people or the men who are getting most of these girls are the men who have achieved financial uh, a, a high financial status. So it basically means that the broke guys will have to scramble for the lesser remaining girls. So a situation whereby you have women going around telling people or saying that they don't want to have anything to do with a broke guy, laughing at broke guys, insulting and looking down on broke men. What do you expect? Do you now expect this broke guy who as a broke guy, no, no girl wanted? In fact, girls, we are even looking down on him, insulting him for being broke, not wanting to be his girlfriend, not wanting to go out with him because of his poor or broke financial status. Now, all of a sudden, he makes money, and you expect this guy to stay with one woman. It's not possible. It's not possible. Apart from the fact that it is very difficult, extremely difficult, for a man who has financial resources, to stick with one woman, to be sexually loyal to one woman. Apart from the fact that it's practically impossible or difficult, the truth is, the society we live in today is extremely unfair to broke men in terms of when you consider what is available to men in the sexual marketplace, in the dating market. A lot of men are... are are basically invisible to women simply because they are broke. A lot of men are, are, are not getting girls. No girl wants them because they are broke. Because obviously all the girls are looking for the rich guys. Now all of a sudden, this guy makes money. And you expect him to be sexually or even loyal to one girl. It's not possible. The truth is, the society itself encourages men to cheat. Because this guy who didn't who no gear wanted when he was broke. Girls were looking down on him. Girls were talking down on him. Now he has made money. And now you expect him to stick with one woman. It can't work because al already, the truth is these days, one of the major things which is pushing men or motivating young men to work harder to become, uh, to make themselves to attain financial uh stability or to make money or to become uh, rich is because of the fact that girls don't even want them. So the fact that a girl doesn't want you, the fact that girls don't want you, easily motivates and pushes these guys into working harder to make money. And now they are working harder to make money so as to prove to those girls or to girls in general that he can have them as much as he wants. He can have them as, as much as he wants. Now, a guy who no girl wanted as a broke person, you don't expect this guy to make money and to stick with one woman. It's not possible. He must, he will, he will have to prove to himself that these girls who did not want me, I'm going to have them as enough. I'm going to have them enough. And the truth is, once a man has money, women make themselves commodities for him. A typical example is the owner of Ife. The owner of Ife presently is preparing to marry his seventh or even eighth wife. Eighth wife. This year alone, he has married, I think, four or five wives. This year alone. And the women he's marrying are not like uh, women from nowhere. These are women who have achieved success in their own field. The last, his sixth wife is a PhD holder. So the, what he's telling you is basically that once a man has money, once a man has achieved status in the society, every woman, even the top tier women with their PhD, 
and with their whatever, make themselves commodities for that man. A man, as a man, all a woman is looking for in a in fact, in fact, forget everything you've had. For example, a girl will come and tell you, I want my guy to be tall, I want him to be dark. Women don't really care about those things. The most important thing for a woman is that the man that is coming to woo her, or that is coming to toast her, or, or that is coming to, you know, try to get attention, can provide for her. That is the number one thing women look for in men. A man's ability to provide, which boils down to the fact that they look out for a man who has money. So once you have the ability to provide, to provide for a woman, which basically means that you are financially stable or you are rich or you are wealthy, every woman will fall for you. That's the truth. Some of these girls who are saying that they want a guy who is tall, a guy who is sexy, if Adams Oshemule, Adams Oshemule, the former governor of, former governor of, I think, Edo State, yeah, former governor of Edo State, as short as dark, and you know, he's not, he's not handsome. That's the truth. Adam Soshemini is not handsome. So if Adam Soshemini comes to to this, to the, uh, to this, uh, comes to those girls, whether to date them or to marry them, most of them will agree. That's the truth. Forget all these things we may say. What they look out for is a man who has money. It's as simple as that. Then other things are secondary. For example, you have to be, uh, you have to be mentally stable. You have to be emotionally stable. All those things come secondary. The most important thing that we may look out for in men is, does he have money or not? And that is why almost all the girls are after the rich guys. That's why they always say that eight percent of the women are after the twenty percent the top 20% of men. So, a society which says broke men don't deserve women has no moral justification or standing to tell a, a man who has made money that he should only stay with one woman. Because these same men that are telling that as broke as they are, they should not have women. They should not, you know, as broke as these men are. That's, in fact, women these days don't even want broke men. So if you don't want them when they are broke, how do you not expect them to take only one of you and be faithful to only one of you when they are rich? No, when they are rich, they want to taste as many as 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 many of those things which did not like them. As many as many women as possible. That's basically it. Because in the past, these women looked down on them. In the past, these women insulted them. So they want to prove to themselves that they can have as many of you as possible. And women even make it easy, very easy. Because once they see that a man has money, they throw themselves at that man. That is the fact. Women throw themselves as, at men who, has, who, has, who have money. If you doubt what I'm saying, go to places like Abuja. Go to places like Lagos Island and see how girls throw themselves at any man they perceive as rich or has money. It's as simple as that. So that's the best on today's video, guys.